Tech fans, what's going on? Eric here once again on Tech of Tomorrow. And for Apple fans, this week brings exciting news. The brand new iOS 9 hits the market this Wednesday. And for Apple fans out there, this is very big news because Apple's claiming for the first time that this offers instant advantages for everybody who downloads it, regardless of what type of device they have. Now in the past, everyone knows that Apple has geared their brand new OSs for the latest technology and that sometimes older stuff slows down and makes you go, hey man, wow, this is like not really too cool, but you've always needed it in order to use the latest apps. Well, with iOS 9, they're claiming this download will be advantageous for everybody regardless of the device. Apple's biggest competitor, Google, can only release updates to their own Nexus devices. While Apple at this time, when they release iOS 9, it'll be pretty much available through all their devices, all the way from the iPhone 4, all the way up to the brand new 6 Plus. So all their phones and from their iPads, you'll be able to do all the iPad 2 up to the latest iPad Pro, and you'll also be able to use any of the iPad mini family. So everything that they have is going to be able to be downloaded and instantly upgraded using iOS 9. With iOS 9, there'll also be a number of new features, including app thinning. Now, app thinning, it helps free up spaces on new devices by only downloading the applications that are relevant to your device. So no more bloated app software. You're not gonna get a bunch of device stuff stored on there. It's gonna free it up by only downloading exactly what you need. Apple has also shaved the size required to install an OS on your system due to the negative reaction when it released iOS 8 on 16 gigabyte devices. Now your system can automatically delete and temporarily uninstall programs during the install process, making sure that you have enough room to install the new OS without problems. Apple is also vying for the attention of the casual gamer crowd. That's right, Apple Gaming. Hmm, sounds crazy to the PC. People are probably going, hee <laughs> snicker, snicker, snicker. But they have said that they are going to have definite things that are game-centric with iOS 9. Apple has announced that there will be updates and features, including frameworks for developing AI, which is a gameplay kit, lighting 3D models, model IO, and replay kit, which is used to record and share gameplay. There's also Apple's Metal AI, but that one you're probably only going to see on iOS 9 due to the fact that it takes high power requirements to run it. So when this comes out, you're gonna actually see a split in the market because older devices aren't gonna be able to take advantage of all these new things that Apple's doing to do gaming. But for those who are the new devices, hey, looks like Apple's going to try to get your money and they're gonna to try to get you to play games on their phones. Now, for the casual gamer, that's pretty cool because I mean, think about it, there are a gazillion Apple devices out there and if they can get more game centric and have more games on all of those Apple devices, Hmm. It's a totally good thing for Apple users and really for gamers and all because hey, let's just face it If you want to be at somebody's house and they've got an Apple device and you want a game and uh, Apple's doing gaming stuff, you know You don't have to tell your friends, but you can go on over there and play your games on an Apple device Last but not least folks the big question is though Performance will Apple keep their promise and will iOS 9 actually gain performance for all their devices across the board? Because like I said, in the past, Apple's new OSs always tend to be running great on new devices. But if you install it sometimes on an older devices, he might be feeling like, oh man, my phone's too old. And you don't want to feel like that. You never want to have to download something that's totally going to kill you. Now, a really big thing that's going to be bad is that Apple's kind of said, hmm, you know, we're going to get rid of the SD slot. So no SD slot. So a 16 gigabyte phone, there's a big difference between it and the 64 gigabyte phone. 64 gigabyte phone cost another 100 additional dollars on top of it. And the actual price between the upgrade of the RAM and the additional cost that they're charging you is freaking phenomenal and it's not really worth it. So that's something to really think about. I don't think it's very fair to people out there, but eh, I guess that's why they're saying iOS 9 is gonna have all these space saving features because well, you know, I guess their phone, since there's no SD support, gonna be kind of shitty at the 16 gigabyte level. Anyways, you guys been watching Tech of Tomorrow iOS 9 hits the shelves this Wednesday. Oh my God, it hits the shelves, but I guess it hit your phone as a download or hit your device this Wednesday. So be on the lookout and we'll see you guys back here when it gets released to see if it actually uh, did what it said.